still watching my way through Japanese cinema, and I was trying to finish some last night, but I fell asleep. So um, I watched basically four in a row, although I watched one this morning, and they were all from director Kenji Mizuguchi. And they're from a uh, Criterion Eclipse set um, called Miguchi's Fallen Mizu, Mizu, Mizuguchi's Fallen Women, and it's over a ten-year period or a twenty-year period for films about women who descend into prostitution for various reasons, and it um, they all explore the socioeconomic reasons for Japanese women going into prostitution. Um, the first one is Osaka Elegy, and it's during the, the Depression in um, Japan, and it's a woman who go who um, begins being the mistress of her boss in order to support her father. Um, and she does this to uh, help her family out of a dire situation, but then and it ends with her family, spoilers, her family uh, rejecting her for, for um, you know, bringing shame on them, even though, like, really the father's um, misfortune with his uh, finances was the real shame of the family, and that's what the film really shows but then it ends with her having to figure out what she's going to do with her life now and that's awful because you know that she's got nothing um and no one and sh and all of this sh shame was for nothing the next film is called sisters of the Gion, and it um, stars two sisters who are geisha one is a little more forward thinking and the other uh, and just takes all the men for what they can and the other is sort of the traditional kind of, kind of geisha with like one patron um but in the end, they both get fucked over because men are terrible. And that's pretty much the plot of that one. Um, great performances from both women. And then the um, third one was actually my favorite. I'm glad I went to bed after it because it was so good. It's called Women of the Night. It's from 1948. And it follows um, two sisters and a young girl. Um, the one sister is waiting to hear from her husband who uh, eventually discovers that, she, that uh, they discovered that he died in the war. Um, their son dies, and she uh, starts working for his old boss, but actually becoming his mistress, um, without her knowing that he's actually a drug dealer because men are trash. And then her, she finds her sister, and they start living together, but then the sister also starts sleeping with the boss. And then eventually they all end up pro as prostitutes, um, including this young teenage girl that they knew who ran away from home, literally runs away from home. She's so naive. Um, the si one sister won't let her stay with them because it would be a shame for her family, but then she just goes off anyways and is unsafe, gets taken as an easy mark, um, made, you know, basically uh, forced to drink, raped, has her money stolen, and then this gang of girls takes all of her clothes and it's like the most horrific like five minute sequence maybe I've ever seen it was so intense um and then the whole rest of the film follows the downfall of these three women and then their um attempts to sort of bond as a group of of fallen women who like and 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 lamenting for the fact that like they ended up in these situations for many reasons that were beyond their control and they can't ever go straight even though each one of them tries to go straight in different ways and it's just um a beautiful uh just look at at these dire situations and and completely non-judgmental like showing you why these women end up in these situations and in this case in particular uh due to the uh the war um and then the final film this was actually Miguchi Mizuguchi's final film was called Street of Shame or in the original Japanese Red Light District and it's about various prostitutes working in a brothel just before um prostitution uh, um so it's one of those brothels there's similar um italian films where they had these licensed brothels and then they're about to close one down i can't remember what that one was called um is it adjua and her friends i think um it's a it's an antonioni um a similar thing where after the war um these countries were going to start de de um or um criminalizing prostitution and decentralizing it and then making it basically it's going to make it worse um, and so this is about several women who, of various ages and backgrounds and how they wound up in this brothel. And it ends in this horrible, bittersweet note with this, with a new girl coming in um, because of, uh, her family has put her there. And it's just super friggin' heartbreaking. And um, this whole set was just lovely and sad and amazing. And um, you can watch them all on Criterion Channel right now. And then uh, you can get them from the Criterion Collection in the Eclipse set, Mizuguchi's Fallen Women. Really, really good. 
Um, really, really sad. Really amazing. So many great actresses in Japan. I had no idea. Um, oh, man. So um, I'm wearing this garb and Joan Crawford's face because it's noir November, and I'll be back in a little bit with a noir review in just a second. Um, so many movies, so little time. Have a good morning. <laughs>